I wanted to show you how you can auto align layers in Photoshop and why you would want to do that. So I've got two images here that were taken handheld up in Perth and what I want is the photograph with just the girl on the bike and I don't want those other people in the image. So I've got two images here that I've taken. Um, I was basically standing on the street and as the people were walking past I was just taking off some, some shots. So because I wasn't on a tripod there is some, some alignment issues. So what I'm going to do, the way I work this is I'm going to drop one image on top of the other. So I make sure the move tool is selected which is over here. V on the keyboard is the shortcut. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I click and drag and drop that one on top of there. So there we have it. There's the two layers. If I turn this on and off you can see the actual image moves which is not great. It's not what we want. So what we can do is we can hold down the shift key select the background layer and layer one together then go up to edit auto align layers and i'm just going to use auto click ok what we should have now is the buildings don't move but the people do so this is exactly what i want to do so what i want to do now is i'm going to add a layer mask to layer one so just hit the little icon at the bottom here it's added a layer mask and I'm going to invert that because I want um, to hide that layer. So what we need to do is hit Command I or Control I if you're on a PC, and that will invert that layer. You'll see that the layer now has gone from layer mask has gone from white to black. And all I need to do to uh, finish this image off, make sure my foreground color is white, which it is over here. If it's not white. I hit X on the keyboard and that toggles between foreground and background colors. It's white. I'm going to get B for brush and I'm just going to rub over this, this person here to get rid of them. I can rub down the side here and, and actually bring that back and I'm going to rub over that person there. So there we have the people gone from the image magically and that's why you would use auto align layers and it's amazing what you can get away with so if you are ever out and you haven't got a tripod and there's things happening if you if there's a monument that you want to photograph and there's people walking past all the time you can't get a straight shot then you can do this and then eventually you'll find that you have every part of the scene where someone isn't standing or walking through and you can pretty much eliminate everyone and everything so i hope you enjoyed that tutorial it's just a quick short one but uh, yeah, good fun.